Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So today I'm in Felixstowe. This is one of the biggest ports in the UK where tons of shipments from China uh, get put on boats in containers and then taken off the containers using these big uh, cranes and then through customs before they go into the Amazon warehouse. So while I'm here, it got me thinking about something. Uh, what is the journey of a product from China all the way to the customer? And what makes it work and what makes it fail? Uh, in other words, what makes a product successful? Really, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make somebody's life just a little bit better, right? From the very start of the product launch process all the way to the end when we're going from, say, five sales a day to 20 sales a day. We're trying to just make a customer's life a little bit better. So when we're researching products, what are we really trying to do? Well, we're trying to find a niche where there's demand. In other words, the customers put their hand up and said, I want this, right? I want this product. Now, when we're doing our product research, really what we're looking for is we're looking for a problem that needs solving. So let's say you're offering a spatula, right? You're trying to solve a problem. You're trying to make it easier for people to cook in their kitchen, right? That's really what you're doing. You're not just selling a piece of plastic, is selling a solution. So when you're looking for a niche, you're looking for enough people out there on the planet who need this solution. If you can find that, then you've got the start of the product's journey checked off, right? That's the first thing you want. Once you found that, you found enough people who need a solution, you want to find a way to make that solution, fix that solution, solve the problem better than everybody else on the marketplace. Right? You want to beat the best seller. You want your product to be more valuable than everybody else's. So now you're not just offering a spatula, you're offering the best spatula in the whole market. What that's going to do is that's going to make every other step of the whole process so much easier for you, right? Because now you're the obvious choice in the marketplace. Now your listing looks better because you've got more value to demonstrate than everybody else, right? Now you can charge more than everyone else because your product really is worth more. Now your reviews are better than everyone else. Why? Because your product's better, right? So that's the second thing you want to do. You want to make your product better than everyone else. Third, you want to find a supplier who can help you actually make the product better and create it to a point where it's more valuable in the flesh. The physical product is better, right? So this takes contacting a ton of suppliers and finding the one who gets what your vision is. So let's say you found a problem in the niche, right, with spatula niche, for example, and you found that all the spatulas in the Amazon marketplace are too flimsy, right? Well, now you could come along and offer the sturdiest Amazon spatula possible, right? The spatula that's the most sturdy on the Amazon marketplace. Now you've got to find a supplier who's on board with your mission, who really wants to help you make the product more sturdy. Now they may already have a design that's more sturdy. They might be able to use a different material. They may be able to reinforce it somehow, right? There could be many ways of um, uh, achieving the goal, but they have to be on board with that goal with you. You're not gonna find a supplier who can do that by sending one message. You'll need to send 30 messages. 50 messages to different suppliers until you find someone who's gonna do that for you, okay? That's the third thing. Get the product made so it's actually better. The fourth thing is get it here safely, right? So you wanna get the product shipped from China into a port like this one, Felix Stowe, and into Amazon safely. So this is gonna require you to use a freight forwarder, or a company who can pick up your products from the supplier and get them shipped into Amazon's warehouse, handle all the customs, and everything else, right? So now your product's in the warehouse, what happens next? Well then, you're gonna to wanna to get it to sell. So the listing, this is where you demonstrate value and explain how all those people who really need that solution to their problem, who really want the problem to be fixed, now you're showing them why your product is the best at solving their problem, right? Your, your pictures, illustrate the fact that your spatula is the sturdiest spatula, right? Your bullets grab their eyes, right? And 
demonstrate to them why they need to pay attention and read more about your product. Your description paints a picture in their mind about how the product will make their life better. The title explains why your product is better than everybody else's in the first few words. So they click on your listing and read the rest of it. And then the reviews give you the social proof you need to show that your product's better than everybody else's. If you can do all of this stuff up to this point, then when you turn the advertising on, you'll get sales. I've had clients who've, who've even got tons of sales before they turn on the advertising, right? Before they turn on the advertising, they're already getting, getting sales. And the reason why is because their product is so good, it's so valuable that um, customers just want it. And they find it before you even turn on the ads. This is entirely possible. So every time you launch a product, I just want you to remember, this is the whole process that we have to do in order to make it successful, right? I've had a lot of people who have shown me their product, okay? And, you know, they haven't been on my program. They've just tried to do it themselves with YouTube videos or whatever, and they've got their Amazon business, and they've got a product, and it's not selling very well. And they go, Ollie, I really need some help with my PPC, with my advertising, pay-per-click advertising, because my product's not selling very well. And I look at their product, I look at their listing, and I look at their advertising, and I think to myself, the advertising isn't the problem here. Right, the advertising isn't the problem. The problem is that they didn't understand the whole process of the entire business. They failed from the very start. They haven't found a niche where there's a real problem and enough customers who need that problem solved. There's not enough demand. They haven't found a way to beat the best seller and make their product better than all the others, so customers actually want to buy it. They haven't found a supplier who's on board with them to create a product that really helps them achieve their goal. Right, they've, yeah, they've got the product there safely. Most people can do that, although maybe there might be some breakages along the way that damage the profit margins. The listing isn't up to scratch because it doesn't demonstrate the value of the product and the, the value of the product wasn't even there in the first place, so there was nothing to demonstrate. If you can't do all of that stuff, then of course your advertising is not going to work, right? Because the whole business is broken. So I wanted to make this video just to explain to you the whole journey a product needs to take for it to get from China into the customer's hands and make you a profit. Right. Every time you launch a product, remember this whole journey. Remember that this is what you're aiming to do. You're aiming to solve a problem for a real person with your product. Right. We're not just selling little bits of plastic for no apparent reason. If you keep this in mind, and you remember that real people will be buying real products from you every time, then you'll have a much higher chance of being successful. So I hope this gave you some inspiration. I hope this reminded you what your goal is as an Amazon seller, as an e-commerce seller as a business owner, and I uh, hope you really smash it this week. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try and get out of this wind because it's really windy here today, and uh, I'll catch you very soon.